What's up guys, this is Quante, and welcome back to more Let's Play Mother 3. In the last episode, we rescued Fuel from his burning home, and in this episode, we're gonna have to return him to his beloved father. And, whoa, he snuck up from a young monster from behind, so let's combo him. Oh yeah, those guys go down faster than ever now. Uh, th that's just gonna be some really easy experience. I want to properly show the combo system, but these guys die way too fast for me to even do that. Well, that's sort of how you do it, but th they only take three combos. The most combos that you can get in one turn is actually 16, so that's a lot of combos to get, but they don't actually do the same number of damage each time. Your strongest one is always going to be the first hit, and then I guess the... Um, the damage ratio gradually goes down the more you attack the enemy. So it's not like, you know, you're gonna absolutely kill the enemy every time you combo him. No, it's nothing like that. Unless the enemy is really weak like these Yeah Monsters. And Fuel is actually more worthy of a partner to have than Thomas is. Because occasionally he will heal you, and he will actually attack the Yeah Monsters and whatever else you're in battle with, with rocks and things like that. So. I mean, it's pretty sad when a little kid is better than you. Or, I'm talking about Thomas here, but yeah. So, screw Thomas. We have Fuel in our party. I'd rather have Fuel any day. Fuel's pretty cool. He has a pretty cool name, too. With a name like that, you can't go wrong. <laughs> so, yeah. If you get in this hot spring, you won't be so black anymore. <laughs> well, actually, only your faces will. I didn't know why they didn't wash their faces off, but... Yeah, it's pretty awkward playing this game being the black man that I am because pretty much from now on every character is going to be mentioning how black we are and it just uh, it's just weird. Hiya. <laughs> Don't know who you are, Mr. Pitch Black guy, but thanks a billion for saving Fuel. <laughs> wow, you really are Pitch Black. <laughs> uh. Oh, Fuel, Flint. You're pitch black and covered in soot, but you're alright. If you're looking for lighter, Thomas took him back to the prayer sanctuary. But wow, you really are pitch black. Oh, Mr. Fuel and Fuel. You're both pitch black, but I knew it was you the instant I saw you. Huh? Oh, this injury? Actually, about that. Yes, this injury. Abby here was attacked by some bizarre flying mouse with bug wings. Mm-hmm. It just went chomp and bit her right on the head. That makes sense. If it didn't, then I can explain to you again. It made sense to me. It was a very easy to understand explanation. <laughs> it actually was, because we were attacked by that same mouse, assuming that that's the only mouse in the forest. But hey, it's Mr. Irresponsible. Flint! Oh, you're pitch black and covered in soot! But you're alright. Being the responsible man I am, I managed to bring lighter here. Hurry and let him, s let him see fuel. I didn't think I was reading that right at first, and then I just kind of stuttered. Dad! Th that voice, is that you, Fuel? You alright? What the? What in the world happened to you? You're pitch black and covered in soot! What about you, Dad? You busted up your leg. Oh, this? This ain't nothing. All I gotta do is twist this like so, and then this, and then... Oh, concern it, man. Boss, what in the world are you doing? Fixing my leg injuries, obviously. What does it look like? Anyways, I'm sure you, you're lucky. I can't read Thomas's dialogue with that voice. Oh, my God. Yeah, he and Lighter have always been quarreling since they were buddies as kids. <laughs> it's enough that makes me jealous. Thanks, Flint. Guess I showed my not-so-tough side today, huh? I owe you one. I think that would be the first time I've ever heard Boss thank someone. Ha 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 you're right! The only thing that would make this stranger is if it suddenly started pouring rain. Well, speak of the devil. Well, let's hope this rain actually puts out the fire. That was pretty bad back there. But we accomplish our goal. We rescued fuel. Well, let's hope this rain puts out the fire, huh? We need to tend to lighter. Let's head back to the village for now. Yeah, let's do that.
Meanwhile, in the Yado Inn, in Tasmali Village. There you are, Flint. You're all patched up now. It's a good thing you and Fuel only suffered light entries. I swear Thomas's voice changes every time. It's like he's going through puberty. It's been a while since Tasmali last had rain. Flint, please get some rest. Yeah, we don't really need rest, do we? Yeah, if you check your status, you can see everything, like how much HP you have right at that point and everything. So if Flint Norris doesn't need the rest, screw rest. But yeah, I didn't actually show this sooner, why didn't I? But yeah, you can actually see your current level, and if you look all around to like the bottom left, you can actually see how much EXP you have, and how much EXP you need to get to the next level, which is really cool, because that's not something most RPGs do, and that's just... I, I don't know, I think it's really cool. So how it shows your current status and everything, you can keep track of all that stuff. Flint, did you see anything else in the fire besides those weird bugs? I'm talking about some suspicious people in pig-like masks. Those blasters. They turned the forest pitch black. And you, Flint, you wound up pitch black too. You should get some rest now, Dad. Oh yeah. You were pitch black too, Fuel. Come on, Dad. You really need some rest now. Yeah, they keep saying we need rest too, but, you know, we're Flint Norris. We don't need rest. Flint! Perfect timing. I heard you were taking a rest here. Mighty heavy rain, isn't it? I think I'll join you under the awning. Flint, tell me. Have you seen Hinawa and the kids? No, I haven't. Forgot all about them. I see. Actually, I was up in the mountains earlier picking mushrooms. While I was up there, I caught sight of Hanawa. Then, while I was taking a break by the river, I heard loud roars off in the distance. Well, maybe that was just Hanawa yelling at Lucas again. <laughs> it sounded like it might have been a drago that was roaring. Oh, no. After that, I heard what I think might have been screams. No, that can't be. The dragos are so nice. And now and the kids made it back home, right? Did they? Oh god, we gotta go see. The dragos couldn't have done that. They were letting, like, everyone run into them earlier. No, that, I, I can't stand for that. Oh, there's the pigeon that Hanawa sent off. Uh, so now Flint's gonna read the letter. A letter from Hanawa. And I hope you guys don't mind me doing this, but I'm going to skip through all of this. Because we already read everything, like, in the first episode, and it just gives, gives a run-through of it again. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to fast-forward through all of this, because it just takes a while, and we're already at 8 minutes, and I don't want to waste any more time. So, yeah, come on, Hanawa. It's an incredibly long letter, but all oh, our favorite donuts are here. Well, let's go in the house and see if the kids are in there and we can have some nice donuts. It's been a long day. We've been rescuing children from houses. All this crap is going on in one night. And no one seems to be here. Oh, they're still not back. With this rain, they could catch a cold. I'll go find them. They're probably taking shelter from the rain somewhere. It's getting late, so we should go all we should all go look for them. Let's get the villagers to help too. Okay, I'll go tell my dad then. Oh, uh, where could they be? You can actually rest on this bed, can't you? Yeah, you can. But I don't need the rest now. I gotta go look for my wife and kids. Woof! Woof! Take me with you. I'm sure I'll be helpful. Take Bunny with you? Yes. 
Boney is actually more helpful than any partner that we've had, like, since the, the game actually started. Because Boney is more like how, you know, when you had the combination of Lucas and Klaus in battle and they both could actually attack. It's the same with Boney. So Boney is actually just more worthy than anyone because he can actually attack and... Yeah, I love Boney. I was actually going to name my dog after Boney because he's just such a good character. Oh, this is bad! This is real bad! I know when the kids still aren't back! So yet we have another dilemma. Oh god. Looks like everyone went to the prayer sanctuary. I really want to help you out, honestly. <laughs> I'm totally just the guy to help you out. Uh, get away from me. You're, you're just too drunk to do anything, man. Just get away from me. I don't need help from drunk people. No help at all. Okay, so... Everyone's at the prayer sanctuary. And another new character. This is Wes. Oh, you're alright, Flint. I asked everyone to split up and search for in the forest for Hanawa. You've been blessed with con friends. That must be true happiness in one sense. Well, what do you have to say? I like to join the search, but they told me to stay here because I'm old. Seems nobody is aware of how strong I really am. Hmm. Well, I guess, but you are pretty old, so we'll just leave you back there. You know, we need to go find everyone. Wait, what do you have to say? Wait, is that who I think it is? That's freaking, um, what's his name from Earthbound? Jeff. Burr, it's cold rain. I don't like it. It doesn't seem like it's going to ever stop. Uh. Oh, no, Mr. Batty. Well, I can take care of you just about as easily, so I'm not going to cut anything out. And you can actually see Boney actually attacks. And it's really, really easy to combo with Boney, too, for some reason. I don't even know why. That's just the way the game feels. It, like, sometimes it feels like you can combo with different um, characters easier than you can with others. And for some reason, Boney is the easiest character in the game to combo with. That's just the way I feel. But, eh. But Flint can't move because the bat got affectionate. That's really weird. And Flint still can't move. What the heck? Come on, don't let the freaking bat get affectionate with you. Come on now. And wait, is Boney's health really down that low? Or is that... Does he really just have low health? Oh yeah, he does have low health. He only has like 54. Oh come on, Mr. Batty, we need to go. Uh. Okay, there we go. Flint finishes the job. Alright. Yeah, I really wanted to name my dog after Boney, but we had to end up naming him Puff. And, well, I'm not too crazy about the name Puff, but it fits the dog, I guess. Because my dog is brown and reminds me kind of a Boney, but my mom wouldn't let me name the dog Boney, and it made me really sad. And oh, I forgot to say that we came up on a new monster. Yeah, these are the baked yam monster. So I guess after all that fire, it just completely baked all of the yam monsters that were there. But yeah, we both leveled up. Flint and Boney. And I hate these snakes. Because if they bite you, they can actually poison you. And poison just gets really annoying. But there are actually, like, people, like, around in the forest that'll actually give you antidotes that you can heal with. Like this lady over here. I'm gonna completely skip through her dialogue because all she does is complain about how we didn't bring di um, antidotes with us in the forest and... She's just really annoying, so let's just take the antidote from her and leave, shall we? And another Yam yeah Monster. Well, I'm gonna see if I can combo to this. Wait, no, the beat's really slow. Dude, I can't go more than like three for some reason. Haven't been able to do that for like the entirety of this LP. I don't know, maybe I will later. It's just really kind of hard to do it while I'm commentating, which I said before. And wait, we're gonna get full on stuff. Oh wait, no, never mind. Well, I'm gonna heal up Boney because he's getting down pretty low. And I guess Flint could use some nut bread. Why not? It's best to keep your inventory cleared out because you're gonna get health items like a lot in this like in the game. So 
Just remember to keep your inventory cleaned out. And wait, open the present. Yeah, we get an antidote here too. So it's really easy just to not get poisoned or not die. You know, the game has you covered for you newcomers out there. Uh, yeah, Flint dodges quickly. You know, he's the best in battle. Nah. Despite Flint being so strong, he's actually not the best that we have in battle. We'll run into stronger characters later on in the game. Someone that you wouldn't think is um, very strong at all is actually going to be coming in. Like, and joining the fray to search for Hanawa. But we're not going to get into that just yet. And yeah, this is like very unfortunate because if a character or if an enemy is near another enemy it'll actually just come and randomly join the battle so now we have a mighty buddy snake and a baked yeah monster in battle too how unfortunate it's a good thing they're both easy to take out though so mighty buddy snake bent with vitamus fangs and now we're poisoned and we're gonna keep on taking damage really really fast so let's heal Flint, and oh my god, I'm at 16 minutes. Uh, I gotta get to a good stopping point. Wait. Oh, just beyond here. Avoid any enemies that come my way. Ah. Wait. Okay, go. Wait, oh, gotta get that present first. Mini mini charm. Wait, I gotta equip that. Wait. Wait, did I equip the mini mini charm to... No, I can't equip it to, um, Boney. Oh, well. Well, oh, I can stop here. So, yeah. <laughs> In the next episode of Let's Play Mother 3, we'll see what's going on here with this tree that's fallen over, because we can't progress on any further. So, yeah. I'll see you guys then.